One of the things that you come pretty early on to understand in this job is that there's Barack Obama the person and there's Barack Obama the symbol or just a representative of power. And so when people criticize or respond negatively to me, usually they're responding to this character that they're seeing on TV called Barack Obama. And so you don't take it personally. You understand that if, if, if people are angry that somehow the government's failing, then they're gonna look to the guy who represents government. I think where I get frustrated at times was the belief that the president can do anything if he just decides he wants to do it. And that sort of lack of awareness on the part uh, about the constraints of our political system, I, I think sometimes would leave me to mutter under my breath. <laughs> very, very rarely did I lose it publicly. Yeah, usually I just smile. I always tell my staff, better is good. I'll take better every time mm -hmm. because better may not be as good as the best, mm -hmm. but better is surprisingly hard to obtain. And better is actually harder than worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was pretty realistic to people about what I thought we could get done and trying to tamp down expectations. I, I don't regret the fervor because I, I do believe the election of a African American to the most powerful office on earth meant that in some irreversible way the world was different. Mm -hmm. I hang out with a lot of related black women and <laughs> they're not casual in their support of me. <laughs> uh, there, there, there is a lot of love forthcoming. Mm -hmm. Partly because they understand the constraints of this society. As, as fervent as they were, as excited and happy as they were when I was elected. They had to go to work the next morning. Mm. They still had trouble paying those bills. Mm. They didn't stop being grounded. And in many ways, they're my touchstone because they're what I meant when I talked about the audacity of hope. Not blind optimism, but it's hope in the face of difficulty. That's what makes it audacious. Mm -hmm. If at the end of my presidency, they feel like I did a pretty good job, then I'll feel pretty good.